They're entering their 94th year of operation. It's the oldest continually family-owned and operated fixed-based operator, or FBO, network in America. It has a barnstorming pilot legacy as its founder, but it was the Air Commerce Act of 1926, which actually included the phrase fixed-based operator, describing a business serving general aviation on an airport, finally opening the door for the most innovative FBO initiative ever. Air charter services needed by the ranchers, towns, and businesses scattered across the rugged landscape of New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas. That man, that service, William Will P. Cutter and the Cutter Flying Service. It was 1928, Oxnard Field. The business grew quickly, identifying even more services needed in the region. Cutter set the standard for others to emulate aircraft sales, line and fuel servicing for transient pilots as a Phillips 66 aviation fuel dealer beginning in 1938. Aircraft maintenance, required by growing aircraft services demand in the southwest United States. But as war loomed over the nation at the outbreak of World War II, Will opened a pilot training facility for the U.S. Navy at Albuquerque's West Mesa Airport. Expansion and his personal patriotism drove this new leader in the FBO industry to set the standard, and that he did. Following the war in 1947, Will began a long-term partnership, Beach Aircraft Corporation moving the company to Kirtland Field, now known as the Albuquerque International Sunport, a joint-use airfield with the U.S. Air Force. Cutter began as a dealer, quickly adding maintenance to Beechcraft airplanes and adding general aviation aircraft as well. The post-war years for Cutter saw continued growth, expanding further west to become internally known as the premier aircraft sales and services provider in the entire Southwest. Today, Cutter is a full-service aviation company offering aircraft fueling, maintenance, avionics solutions, aircraft charter, and aircraft sales and management. Serving the business aviation industry, Cutter has operations at eight major airports in Arizona, Phoenix, Deer Valley and Phoenix, and Sky Harbor, and in New Mexico, Albuquerque. Also, Carlsbad, California, Colorado Springs, and Dallas Addison in San Antonio. Cutter is a member of the Pinnacle Air Network, the National Business Aviation Association, and the National Air Transportation Association. They are an authorized new aircraft sales dealer for Pilatus, Piper, Honda Jet, and TBM. Will's sons, William R., born in 1932, and Sidney, born in 1934, both began flying at early ages and each returned to the family business after tours in the U.S. military. William, known as Bill, established the family's second FBO at Phoenix's Sky Harbor Airport in 1959. Sid remained in Albuquerque, serving as company president from 1963. When their father passed in 1974, he turned his attention to hot air ballooning, founding the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, the largest in the world, and he was ultimately inducted into the U.S. Ballooning Hall of Fame. This family does it all. Taking the reins in 1974, Bill expanded maintenance, aircraft sales, and air charter services at Phoenix and across the Southwest. His son, William W., also known as Will, continued the family legacy, following in his grandfather and father's footsteps as president in September of 2003, expanding even more the Cutter footprint into Colorado and Texas. William R. Bill Cutter passed away peacefully on December 11, 2018, a lifelong aviation enthusiast and patriarch of the Cutter family. He was ATP rated in fixed wing, rotary, and lighter than air, and several jet and turboprop aircraft. He'd accumulated thousands of hours during his life, in his later years flying his beloved 1944 Beach Model 17 Stagger Wing. Bill has been honored many times by the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, the New Mexico Military Institute, the Pima Air and Space Museum's Hall of Fame with his father, Will, and was named Man of the Year by Beechcraft. He was also proud to serve his nation in the United States Army. But it was continuing the family legacy begun by his father, Will Cutter, in 1928, which gave him the most satisfaction. 
He also established Cutter Aviation's facility at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport in Arizona, which ultimately became the company's largest facility and corporate headquarters. Now run by the other will, in February 2022, Cutter Aviation announced the purchase of Legend Aviation at Prescott Regional Airport in Arizona. Expanding on 12 acres, Cutter Aviation PRC comprises over 6,600 square feet of office space and over 20,000 square feet of aircraft maintenance hangar space. The FBO offers such amenities as a conference room, flight planning center, crew vehicles, and concierge service. The Legend Aviation acquisition followed the purchase in December 2021 of Aerojet and GTU Jet in January of 2022 in Georgetown, Texas. Cutter Prescott is the ninth location of the Cutter network of world-class FBOs. Company president Will Cutter reinforced his beliefs. These are the key ingredients to a formula which has kept us at the forefront of the industry. They have helped us establish a reputation that we are all proud of. Our values have served us well for 80 years, and without them, Cutter would be just another run-of-the-mill service station for airplanes. For its record as the oldest continuously family-owned and operated FBO in the United States and its continued leadership in complex, competitive aviation specialized services in the aviation community and through a consistent and visionary expansion of regional services to underserved locations, an unwavering commitment to customer service, customer and employee satisfaction, and employment of business practices rooted in core values of respect, trust, and integrity. The San Diego Air and Space Museum takes great pride inducting Cutter Aviation Services into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame.